Jim, let's move on to what you're looking for tomorrow in this short week. Broadcom is out with its earnings. Yeah, you know what? And I think that there's a couple of uh, semiconductor companies that were very levered to Apple. Uh, and they were, they were Corvo and they were Skyworks. Uh, and they were, frankly, Avago. Um, which is now Broadcom, and they were NXPI, but before the Freescale acquisition. We like NXPI very much for Action Alerts. Why? Because they've correctly diversified well in advance from Apple. Uh, so has Broadcom. Now, Vago was far too limited. They are now an, the ultimate Internet of Things. Broadcom was an amazing company. They've got 5G technology. Now, the market is very heavy here. So, I mean, the idea of going to buy one of these, I always think about now the Twitter reader who says, well, Kramer's saying buy Broadcom. No, I'm saying is Broadcom's an interesting company. But what we're having is, is that stocks have been going down after they report good numbers. So, I mean, I have Palo Alto tonight for, uh, for mad money. Uh, work they reported yesterday. Even the slightest slowdown in these high multiple stocks from a plus 40% run rate to a mid 30% run rate has been enough to hit stocks. So let's just be aware that this is a market that is being unkind to high growth, and uh, it could be unkind to uh, Broadcom uh, uh, with the simple AVGO, and that might be your opportunity, because it's not always going to be as negative as it happens to be yesterday and today. Okay, Jim, as always, thank you. I'm Rhonda Schapler for The Street.